It's the last ride then, Pete. Morning. Looking forward to a bit of sunshine and, and a headwind. We have a nice full English breakfast, a headwind and sunshine. Just need to get ourselves on the road. North Dorset Trail, I think, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, so good morning. We're back at it. 93k today, 680 metres of climbing, so not a particularly hard day. Uh, but the headwind, which was suffered from all week, is still there to haunt us, despite the fact we're now going in a different direction. Anyway, we get into the sunshine. I'm not going to complain, it's not raining. And uh, we'll enjoy our last ride for a while, I think. Because we're back at work next week. So we're going to have another five months off. <laughs> Yeah, I think we just about got away with that one. That was the start of what looked to be the Paul Park run. Nobody wanted to get out of the way though. We had to go up on the grass to get through. Mental. That was a fun start. That was about start in five minutes. I reckon. <laughs> We'd have been doing a lap with the runners. That for a start, Pete. <laughs> Should we bought the right bike now? <laughs> How to walk? How to get off and walk? It's that steep. I know, dude. It's uh, just loose gravel. Just, just doing there. <laughs> when I planned this part of the route, I was looking forward to this. It looked like a lovely bike path through some nature park. Um, we should have realised that the British just don't do bike paths like the French do. Um, if we run this all day, it might be a long day. <laughs> oh, don't say that. Seven hundred and fourteen kilometres on French roads. And you take me on the shit roads here. <laughs> First punch of the week, though. I was thinking. Oh. I was thinking on that trail. If one of us doesn't get a punch, it's a miracle. Catch the pro at work. I know that you're curious. I know that you're strong. But life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go. So that is nearly that. There are 13 kilometers left to go. Uh, I've had a bit of a struggle motivationally since we left the North Dorset Trailway. Um, Pete's puncture and everything. But every hill just seemed to be an absolute grind to get up. We made a little stop, got something to eat, got something to drink. Got myself some fizzy fish, and I've been rewarding myself with fizzy fish at the top of every little rise, which has kept me going. But to think of the things that we've achieved in the last seven days, I still have no idea how we got to Plymouth. That was poor. That was an effort and a half. But just the memories of rolling off the ferry onto French soil for the first time and trying to figure out which side of the road you need to look for for the cars and where you 
where you need to go around a roundabout, finding the first boulangerie, our first special little town of Triguria, that, uh, that crepe jambon, the complete jambon. Best thing in the world. Best thing in the world. Oh, just, just those memories of the sights that you could see and, and Mont Saint Michel was just, oh, it's just epic. Absolutely epic to, to that whole, it seemed to last for ages because it was there in the distance, you could see it. It was amazing. What about the seven day headwind? Oh, the seven day headwind. We're not going to talk about the seven day headwind. Wow. That's just one of those things that you just put up with. take away from it, does it? No, just those happy memories. Can I just say this young man here has been absolutely epic. I definitely couldn't have done it without him. He's been so patient with me. Uh, you could have done it on your own. Yeah, no, I don't think so. <laughs> You've got the skills to do it now, anyway. Well, I'm a lot fitter now. Just having you there every day, being patient, has been amazing. Thank you, pal. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Thank you for planning the route and coming along. And it's been awesome. So that is a wrap on bikepacking Brittany in Normandy. We are back on the outskirts of Glastonbury. Pete and I are soon going to split, go our different ways, having spent the last seven days with each other. Yeah, so it's been amazing. Uh, the French people were amazing. French weather was British weather. The headwind for seven days is still there now in our face. But other than that... Thoroughly recommend. Yeah, thoroughly recommend. You're a Renault 4. Um, I know you're going to ask me, but I use Continental Grand Prix 5000, so GP 5000s. They're 30 millimeter and they go on any road. Um, no punctures. I've still got to get home, so touch wood. No punctures. Uh, Pete's got the Panarasa Gravel Kings. Well, they 30, 35. 35s on there. And yeah, puncture on North Dorset Railway of all places. Of all the places that it could have gone today as well. <laughs> Some of those gnarly bridleways leaving Paul going through. Oh, what was the place we went through? Stour Pain, was it, or something? Something like that. There's something so like that. Flints on the trails there, wasn't it? I thought it was, was going to happen. I don't, I don't know what the hell we were doing in there. The, the, the runners that saw us riding through on racing bikes with. Um, bags on must have thought we were mental well actually we probably are mental but yeah what what a great end to a week so thank you for watching if you've watched the whole series i really do appreciate it and i will see you in my next adventure i have no idea when that'll be i haven't broken myself this time um i'm probably going to need a couple of days off the bike to recover a little bit but i'm not broken so the big question would you do anything differently not to you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, would it do anything differently? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, we've got a good mix of tents and Airbnbs to um, recharge things. Um, I'd love to have seen a bit more of St Marla, that's probably the only thing. Yeah, we probably could have got up a little bit earlier and set off a bit earlier so we had a bit more time during the day. But the, sure. the rate... Probably the, the only difference is just setting off a bit earlier. Yeah. Um, Oh, no. Not locking ourselves out of the Airbnb. Yeah, that didn't help. That, that didn't help. But, uh, yeah, that's probably the only thing I'd change. Favourite bit? Crepes. It's got to be crepes. Crepes. I've never had a crepe. Pete likes a so crepe. I, yeah, Mont Saint Michel was probably the best bit. Um, my biggest frustration was the deviation from the bike race. Because <laughs> they wouldn't let us back onto the route. And sent us all the way round. And then we found Eurovelo 4 and we were riding right next to the route. So we could have got through, yeah. I think. But yeah, no, I thoroughly loved it, to be honest with you. Haven't loved the last 40K. I've probably been swearing a little bit to myself, thinking what the hell am I doing? Uh, but now I'm about 10K from home. I'm happy as Larry because I get to go see my wife and I get to go see Cooper. So I'm looking forward to both of those things. So I'll see you in the next adventure. It takes a bit of suffering, sleepless nights and wandering before you make it safely to the end. There's things in life you simply need to know But sun and rain and trust in letting go It takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and